What's up, everybody? Um, welcome to another episode of my R&B review. It's your boy Reg in the building and stuff like that. Um, this one is a request, you know, from my homeboy Jermaine and stuff like that. Shout out to you. You know, you requested me to do this album because he's a big fan of this next artist I'm about to talk about. And the album I'm going to talk about is Layla Hathaway with the Honestly album. You know, I can see it, but it's a glare. Um, Okay, y'all can't really see it, uh -huh. and so, y'all can't really see it and shit like that, but I'm gonna put it on the thumbnail and stuff so y'all can see it. Um, this album was released in, uh, 2017, and it was released on her label Hathaway Entertainment. Um, singles album is known for, it came out with Wild... I want to say why, why was it, no, 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 scratch that, I can't wait, honestly, and call on me, um, producers include herself and, um, Tiffany Goucher, and stuff like that, um, you know, she dropped her EP in 2015 called Pillow Talk, and stuff, um, very dope artist, and producer from what I've heard, features include, Lecrae, Tiffany Boucher, and stuff like that, and that's about it for the features. Alright, so for those who don't know who Layla Hathaway is, she is a singer. She was born, um, born and raised in like Chicago, Illinois. She is the daughter of, um, she's the daughter of legendary soul singer Donnie Hathaway. Rest in peace, rest in peace to him. Um, definitely one of the all-time greatest, like, singers, producers of all time. He died way too soon, in my opinion, and shit. So, yeah, so Layla Hathaway definitely was a singer and skilled with both, like, R&B and jazz. Um, she dropped her first album, self-titled album, in 1990 and stuff like that, which... I have to be even quite honest with you, I've not heard all of her material, what I've heard, I'm just gonna let you know and stuff like that, but I did hear her first album a couple months ago, and I did like it, and stuff like that, and it was definitely very, very different, and it was very, very different, like a lot, like New Jackson, because she was like really doing her own jazzy R&B deal and stuff like that, um, track, I mean, next album she dropped was 1994's. 1994's um a moment and stuff like that which I've, I've never really heard that album to be real with you um and so between then and like her next she took a little break when she was just working with artists writing and producers such as like Mary J Blige the Rhinans and stuff like that and in 1999 she joined um GRP which was like a which was um like a jazz record label, and she worked with this guy named Joe Sample, and stuff like that on the album called The Song Lives On, and you know that was like a big hit, a big hit within like the whole jazz community and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And so fast forward to 2004, um she released her fourth album, Out Running the Sky, in 2004, and um. <clears throat> she ended up like um signing to like Stax Records. She ended up signing to Stax Records and she dropped her next album called Self Portrait in two thousand and eight and stuff and after the self portrait, you know, she went on tour and then she dropped her next album a couple years later called Where it All Begins in two thousand and eleven and stuff like that too, so Whew. Yeah, man, she's been dropping albums like crazy and shit, so, yeah, man, so, you know, she did a TV tour here and there, and then her recent release was Honestly, and stuff like that, so, yeah, man, um, and, you know, it's crazy, too, because this album actually got her, like, two Grammy nominations 
in the 2009 Grammy nomination. Like, it was nominated for Best R&B Album, and it was also nominated for Best R&B Performance on the song Why Oh Why. So, this album has about nine songs, not too long, so here, here it is and shit like that. First track, Honestly. One of my favorite songs off this album. Definitely has that, like, late 2010s R&B sound and shit like that. Um, very, very dope out. Very dope song and shit. Love this track. I love her, her vocals on this track, too. Very, very angelic. Track number two, Don't Give Up, is, in, is the next track. Um, give me a second. I actually need to exit out my notes and shit, but... Give me one second. But yeah, Don't Give Up is a very, very, very dope track as well, too. Um, that track features um, Lecrae and self explanatory is just telling people, you know, don't give up. Like, don't let it be the end of your world and stuff like that. You know, we just gotta keep striving and shit. Um, yeah, man. I'm not, like, the biggest, biggest Lecrae fan, but he does have some dope shit. And he, I did like this one line where he says... You just take that ground for granted, but you're going through where so many there before you. While plenty may ignore you, it, it's many that adore you. Like, I love that line for some reason and shit, so. Yeah, very, very dope track. Track number three, Change Your Life. Which, um, Change Your Life is a very soulful track, a nice beat to it. Um, I want to say she produced that track too, so very dope this song. Track number four, What You Need. Featuring Tiffany, that's probably my favorite track off this album and shit like that. I got that. That's that's like a nice little bang. I love the chorus too. I got that loving. You keep running. I, I love that shit and stuff like that. Um, yeah, definitely a very sensual kind of track. But sensual is done right because it's certain songs that sensual this day and age. But at the same time, it just ends up becoming like a huge mess in my opinion. But yeah, this track right here was very dope. Um, this is one line where she says, You're like a drug that I just can't quit. You think by now I'll be used to it. I can feel it inside your kiss. Ooh, you should know by now. Love that line right there. Very dope shit. Um, track number four, What You Need. Um, no, no, that, that was what I just, that was what I just talked about. Um, forgive me, y'all been up for a long time, so forgive me. Um, track number five, Call On Me. Very, very uh, cool song. That's just another cool song as well, too. She actually has a remix where I just looked up with the Red Man, so I'll definitely peep that and shit like that. Probably post it in the description box. Track number six, Won't Let It Go. Um, Won't Let It Go, that's a very cool song and stuff like that. Next track, Storm. Um, this one is an interlude. It kind of is an interesting interlude because it kind of mixes the Won't Let It Go vocals and then it has Tiffany's vocals from the song Why Oh Why. But it's like slowed down and reverb and shit like that. And it's kind of like, I like how they did it, like a bridge connecting the songs together. And it leads into the song Why Oh Why. Yo, her and Tiffany definitely did a thing on that track right there. I love that song. Basically questioning the a man's uh, questioning like the man's realness towards the relationship and stuff like that. Um, very 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 cool track. Um, just that sensual R and B I like. Um, the line where she says the weather has changed and I refuse to believe that somehow you don't see all the love I've given you. Very dope line right there. Shit like that because you know. Sometimes people don't see the love that one might give to another person and you probably take them for granted and shit like that, you know? But it is what it is with that one. And the last track off the album, I Can't Wait. Which that song right there is pretty much like a nice little jam and shit like that. Nice little, it's like a nice little like, um, I won't call it a clubbing, it was like a little party track. It's like a kickback kind of song and stuff like that, but yeah, man. And that's all the tracks off this album. Overall, man, this is a very dope album, man. Very cool R&B album and stuff like that. This is definitely is kind of R&B album you can listen to, you know, with your girls and stuff like that, or your man, whatever. Um, Layla Hathaway definitely is a legend in my opinion. And the fact that she's still staying relevant to this day and age is amazing because like many R&B singers from her time 
they try to adapt to what, what the people are doing now and sometimes it does not even work out for them and shit like that so very dope album nice production on this album too so in my opinion highly recommended and that's all the time I have for this album stay tuned for more stuff follow me on Instagram at MC Rich Music on Twitter at Real Rich One and make sure y'all donate to the Patreon I'll see y'all later peace